from the National Smallholder Farmers Association of Malawi, NASFARM, started way back in 1995 as an agribusiness project. But in 1998, the farmers who were participating in the project decided that they wanted to come together and form a national association. NASFARM has since grown um, from that time and we are operating in 22 of the 28 districts in the country. A lot of our work has focused on helping the farmers who take farming as a business. We work with farmers in the soil value chain, rice, chilies, groundnuts, beans, uh, sunflower as well. Those are the main crops that we're promoting. But in all, for all those value chains, we help the farmers to be able to produce better quality as well as higher yields. We do several things. Firstly, we provide training. So it's training and also access to technologies. Um, because it is one thing for the farmers to be trained in the right technologies, but another to ensure that they have access to those technologies. And we have seen that uh, there have been significant um, improvements in yields. So for example, for soya, we are on uh, about 1.2 uh, metric tons per hectare compared to 0 0.8, which is the national average. Uh, national smallholder average. There's a significant difference between the average that uh, our farmers are getting and the national um, smallholder average in the country. Access to markets is one of the biggest challenges that smallholder farmers in this country face. For most other crops you find that farmers complain that they do not have reliable markets or that prices that are offered are low. Um, so as NASFARM, that's one area where we are actively participating to help address that challenge. At the moment, we are focusing more on value addition. And by doing value addition, uh, it has several benefits. But on the farmer's side, it is important because it guarantees the farmers that there will be an available market. We also train the farmers themselves that they should be able to participate in policy processes. So for us, we make sure that um, when the government is coming up with policies, smallholder farmers are also included, not just uh, as beneficiaries, but they are included as participants. Uh, we are currently working on our fourth strategic plan now, and the focus of that strategic plan is sustainability. So um, in this uh, strategic plan, we're focusing more on value addition and uh, really growing uh, the subsidiary, the commercial subsidiary of NASFARM, which is NASFARM Commercial, to ensure that uh, they can provide markets to the farmers, add value, and be able to generate more income, which we now have to plow back to support um, the development initiatives of the system. We have five strategic areas. The first one is to enhance market-led production among smallholder farmers by providing market-aligned services. We want to make sure that whatever the farmers produce is what the market needs, as opposed to producing and then going to look for markets. Our second objective is to increase smallholder member yields in an environmentally sustainable manner. As you know, with climate change, it's a big challenge. And we, as we're looking at increasing yields, we want to make sure that we do that in a manner that is environmentally sustainable. Uh, thirdly, uh, we're looking at building a committed, engaged, and socioeconomically empowered membership. We're looking at really developing a caliber of members that we can take throughout the strategic planning period so that um, we can actually see the change um, from the time that we start our um, interventions at the beginning of the strategic plan to the end. Our fourth objective is to build a robust and effective system that supports the NASWAN business model. We have to make sure that there's a complementarity, that there's no contradictions within the system. So as the associations develop, NASWAN commercial should also be able to develop and grow. And lastly, all these things should culminate into uh, improved financial sustainability of the NASFARM system, and that is our final objective.